Hello, everybody, and welcome to Fun Around Town. I'm your host, OJ Kelly, and we're starting off in the kitchen today because I'm going to be making a nice green smoothie. Want you all to try it at home and see how you like it. It should keep you energized while you're out on the fun, on the town, having fun about town. Today's show is all about fitness, so later in the show, we're going to have a friend of mine, martial arts trainer Marlon Culpepper. He's going to join us. He owns the Fighter Fit Gym 02100 Fitness. It's located on 26th and Wisconsin Avenue, centrally located around anybody if you're in the city. So now let's get down to making the smoothie. Um, first of all, what we're going to do is uh, stay clean and uh, stay safe. So. Uh, we have our ingredients has been soaking, so uh, we're just going to pour the water off these ingredients and we're going to get going here. So uh, we have everything prepared through the magic of television, so we don't have to go through a lot right now. Now these ingredients aren't very expensive. People think that getting healthy is very expensive so they don't want to try it. They like to eat, you know, a lot of things that aren't good for you because they think you got to go to Outpost and buy $10 milk and stuff. It's not true, you know. Today we have uh, the ingredients. Uh, what we're going to use are some fresh blueberries, some green apples. This is a green smoothie. And we've got some almonds and some spinach. There's many different species of spinach, but any spinach will do baby spinach, regular spinach. So uh, what we're going to do is continue to prep this. So uh, I'm just going to take some of this spinach and like I said, safety, we're going to be careful not to uh, hurt ourselves with cutting anything. So uh, we're just going to cut these uh, up just enough so uh, our blender doesn't have to work hard to uh, cut up these ingredients here. Now the green smoothie is what I chose because green vegetables and fruits are really, really rich uh, in protein and uh, when you're doing the smoothie uh, diets and shakes and stuff like that, I don't even like to say diet, diet confuses people, they think diet means not eat, we're going to say nutrition. So if you're going to get in shape, the first thing you do is start with your nutrition. Nothing works without your nutrition being right. People always ask me, well, how do I get six-pack abs? Well, you got to change your nutrition. So uh, let's get started here. We're always going to use a base to any smoothie. You can use apple juice, water, or what I'm going to use here is uh, just some uh, fresh coconut milk because uh, unlike milk, it's very, very low in saturated fats. We need fats, but we need uh, monotrans fats. So... Uh, we're just going to start with some of this milk and uh, like I said, with, you're on a smoothie diet if you're drinking this twice a day and then having a regular dinner, you know, for every pound of body weight that you have, you should be getting a gram of protein. So unless you have like some uh, unflavored powdered protein to mix inside of this, we're just going to use something natural because it has those uh, monotrans fats that we're talking about. So we're going to dump some almonds in here and uh, we're gonna go with some blueberries. Blueberries are high in fiber too and uh, they taste good. Also high in uh, antioxidants and uh, we're gonna take some green apples here and uh, we're just gonna cut a few up in uh, a couple nice chunks that will uh, fit inside the blender so it doesn't have to work too hard so uh, we're just going to cut a few of those and we're also going to leave the skin on. It is uh, a green smoothie and uh, most fruits and vegetables that we like, most of the good stuff in them are within the skin. So we're going to keep the skins, just going to have them clean and uh, we're going to cut a few up here and uh, put it inside this steak. Now if you're on this trying a smoothie diet, like I said, you got to have some protein. Without protein, your muscles aren't being fed. Muscles love protein. So you're going to find yourself getting weak throughout the day, tired, if you're not getting enough protein. So uh, either uh, you got to use some powder or something natural that's high in protein count. Now, we'll get this tight on here. 
and we'll throw it inside. Let that blend right up really, really good. You don't want any chunks of anything inside of it. It's a smoothie, so it's supposed to be smooth. All right, that's good. About a nice 30 seconds. So uh, we're going to take this out and uh, give it a try here. It smells great, too those fruits. That is awesome. The crew needs to try this. So those ingredients were some coconut milk. That's much better than regular milk. Some people are lactose intolerant. Milk also is high in trans fats. What we want is the monotrans fats also, we had the unsalted almonds. Almonds are the highest nuts with the highest uh, protein count in them. And we also have our baby spinach. Like I said, any kind of spinach will do. There's all different kinds of uh, spinaches, but green smoothie, spinach, kale, and uh, the other good ingredients inside makes a nice smoothie. Like I said, if you're going to try this and you're going to go on a cleansing where you're drinking three of these a day, you know, make sure you add some protein so you uh, have the strength and uh, it's feeding your muscles. So um, I hope you guys uh, like it and uh, try it at home and uh, tell us what you think. And uh, next we're going to uh, go see uh, Marlon Culpepper in action, uh, MMA trainer, and uh, he has something in store for us. We're going to see what Marlon has for us today. And, uh, martial arts demonstration. Thank you for watching that. Uh, appreciate it. All right, my smoothie was great. Uh, <laughs> now we're going to welcome to the stage Marlon Culpepper. Uh, I want to ask you the first question. What is Fighter Fit? All right, uh, Fighter Fit is basically, I'm not sure if you know, but mixed martial arts is probably one of the fastest growing sports in the world today. Mm -hmm. And it's also probably one of the most demanding sports. And part of that is being physically prepared to handle 
the fight. Um, so what we do is we basically we take the concepts of fitness from fighters right. and we bring it to the general public. Okay. All right. Uh, what skills do the groups work with? Um, there's a lot of movement, body movement, a lot of on one's body work. Instead of having weights and pumping weights and pumping iron, we right. use on one's own body weight. Um, there's a lot of push-ups. There's a lot of kicking and punching. There's a lot of cardio interval training and right. working all together. Planks, TRX, stuff like it's, that. Exactly, yes. Cool. Uh, how often do you guys actually have to meet for that? Uh, we I recommend about three times a week. Uh, three times a week. Three times a week. Classes are held every day, but three okay. times a week fighter fit is held. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of intense. Your body needs time to re recuperate. Yeah, I was just going to ask you that. It, you know, you, you're working out. I know that uh, people might think that that's less of a workout than weights, but mm -hmm. I actually do some uh, CrossFit training mm -hmm. too, and it's very intense. So, uh, how long uh, have you been uh, training other students? Uh, zero to 100 has been open about a year. I've been training myself about four years. About four years? Okay, are there uh, any particular diets that you suggest to uh, your students? Well, fitness is 90% diet, 10% work. Exactly. Um, so the e eating right is very, very important. Uh, if you're not you know, taking things out of your diet that's gonna cause you be, to cause fat, right. it's not gonna make you as lean. Um, so there's always a strict diet compared go goes along with fighter fit. And what kind of, uh, I always have a problem with this, what type of meats do you recommend people eat and how should they prepare it? Uh, it depends on what you're doing, but a lot of lean meats, cooking healthy, not, there's no, you know, no processed things. Right. Uh, not, not a lot of grease, not a lot of fried. Right. Um, a lot of times when you fry food, it takes out the nutrients that you actually need. Right. You know, sometimes just lean, lean meat. So is your focus uh, cardio? Is it strength training? Uh, what is it? Well, if you're involved in MMA, um, there's a lot of groundwork, so it's a lot of strength and speed all at the same time. Right. And that's the wonderful thing about fighter fit. You're using strength and speed and, right. and all your all your skills at once. And not only are you working your body, you're also working your mind because you're thinking about the next step in the fight. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a big part of it. I know a lot of people don't know, but you know, they call concentration curls concentration curls for a reason. You got to <laughs> concentrate on it. So, uh, how can uh, potential clients reach you? Uh, we're, we're available around 26 in Wisconsin, uh, and so we can give me a call. We have a Facebook page, we have an Instagram page. Uh, you can find us there. Um, we're always available for con uh, contact. And that's that's good. That's really centrally located. You know, anywhere in the city of Milwaukee, you're only 10, 15 minutes right. away from there. Exactly. All right. Uh, can we see uh, some of your moves? Can you demonstrate some of this uh, fighting for us? I know uh, we're probably thinking that you're going to go out there and uh, do some. <laughs> you know, kung fu moves <laughs> that we've seen on TV, but you know, if you've right. never seen an MMA fight before, okay. we'd like to see how you guys would uh, use that in uh, a practical sense. Okay. Because I know there is some, um, I watched uh, kung fu movies before right. and I see them do acrobatic moves and stuff like that and <laughs> spinning, flying, jump kicks and everything <laughs> like that. And I'm just saying to myself, I don't know how that could be practical in a real fight when someone's attacking you. So uh, when you're uh, training people, I'm pretty sure you do sparring and you find out what moves can be used in practical situations mm -hmm. and which stuff is just kind of like for uh, balance and uh, right. you know. Well, everything we do in a fighter fit, it translates to fitness. Um, so everything we do, if you're doing from takedowns to fighting, kicking and punching, there's always a purpose because you want to really work the body. Right. So what I can show you is I'm going to take you guys over and show you some MMA moves that we translate into fitness moves. Okay. All right. So if I learn something from you, I'm not going to be out there and I want to be uh, kicking and screaming and jumping around and then get ready to fight and then I get knocked out. All right. That's wasting a lot of energy. We okay. don't do that. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Well, that's cool. So, um... Well, um, I'm really interested in seeing what you guys have to offer, but okay. let me ask you this. Are you going to be doing more kung fu or more <laughs> boxing, or is it a nice mix of both? Well, I don't do kung fu, but mostly it's a combination of, t of kickboxing, boxing, uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu is really big in that, and wrestling. It's a combination of all four. Okay, see, I don't want to be talking to somebody else and really sound ignorant about the okay. fighting styles. You know, okay. you said you don't do kung fu. Yeah. Is there a difference between, let's say, kung fu, karate, jujitsu, uh, taekwondo? Uh, every major country has developed a way of defending themselves. Uh, kung fu is, is more based in China. Okay. Uh, whereas it, taekwondo is Korean, karate is mostly Japanese. Okay. Um, boxing is usually an American English uh, sport. Right. Uh, Brazilian jujitsu is actually a combination of Brazilian art and jujitsu art. 
Okay. Uh, so it's, it's a combination of both. So yours is going to be Brazilian jiu-jitsu and boxing? Uh, MMA is involved in all that stuff. It's all, it, okay, it's you're going to take a little inclusive. bit of everything, everything and mix it yeah, into it. That's what mixed martial arts is. Okay, so do you actually have to, if you're going to mix that in, mm -hmm. do you have to actually take a jiu-jitsu course and then a karate course and then a boxing course? Or have you put together uh, a series of trainings that right. incorporates it all where you don't need to have to actually study all of those. Well, that's the beautiful thing about MMA. MMA is you, you, it suits your, your, what, you're, what are you good at? So if I'm good at, if I grew up being a wrestler, I went to high school for wrestling, I went to right. college for wrestling, that's, okay. that, that'll be your main art. Then you add in the boxing and kicking. If you grew up in Brazil or you like jiu-jitsu and that's your art, you can bring that to the table. Whatever you are good at, right. you can bring it to the table and bring it into the cage. Okay. Do you have a lot of women that... Actually, our, our gym is mostly supposed to be a fitness gym, so we actually have a lot of women that come in for fitness, and when they, they come in for the fitness, they get interested in mixed martial arts, and then they, they we even have a young lady that's preparing to fight uh, within a year. And they do well in this. They, they Yeah, it's a, it's a very growing sport. Uh, Ronda Rousey, Holly Holm has really exploded the sport. Actually, at one point, Ronda Rousey was probably the top MMA fighter in the world, and it's unheard of of a man and a woman woman's sport. Right. So, um, did you bring a student with you? Is that a student that you brought with you for uh, this demonstration? Yeah, I, I brought Lorna. Lorna's been training with me about two years. Um, she actually lost about 50 to 60 pounds. Doing yeah, this I was going to say because yeah. Lauren looks really fit. Yeah. And Lauren really looks like she could jump all over you. Yeah. She, so, I was going to ask you, how long has she been training that you had her? You uh, say two years. I've been ahead. training her for two years. Um, she was a high school friend. She came in, and uh, we got her got her ready she lost about 50 pounds got in great shape and now she wants to fight okay well let me ask you this when you are uh training people and you know you go through the progression of mm -hmm. the different stages of what you expect them to do is this a belt system or how do you do it uh, well, if you do a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, it's more of a belt system, but also the art is actually of learning. Uh, martial arts, belt system is a more of an American thing. Okay. Um, they kind of brought it from America. Usually, martial arts is we get together, we train, we learn from each other, we grow from each other, and right. as we grow, we progress. Um, so that's kind of what the concept behind MMA is. You come to the gym and you train. Of course, there are levels, but we don't do necessarily do belt because we are supposed to be just a fitness gym. Okay. Uh, it just so happened that we had people that were more interested in, in the fight aspect of it, so we decided to go on into that too as well. But we don't let anybody fight for competition while until they're you know fully prepared. Until they're ready. Yeah, until they're ready. And y you make a determination on that by, you know, you guys do probably sparring mm -hmm. inside the gym and, you know, since yeah. you are, I don't, what would they call you inside of there? Uh, it's not sensei or anything. No, like just Marlon. <laughs> just Marlon. Or coach. Oh, okay. Yeah. Marlon oh, okay. Or coach. Marlon yeah. or coach. Yeah, Marlon or coach. All right. Yeah. So the coach actually, you know, would determine from their level of progression and uh, how they're incorporating what they've been taught to decide whether or not they're ready to go. Right. and take on a fight with someone that has no association well, with your gym. It's, it's obvious kind of tell like the, the, when you see what's called competition level striking and right. compared to amateur striking okay. or amateur striking compared to beginner striking. Um, to be competing at amateur level, you probably all, almost want to be at competition level striking. Um, the speed is, speed is improved, uh, the accuracy is improved, you can see that the power is improved. Okay. All those things you can tell when they're ready for competition level striking because you're dealing with some of the best athletes in the world. Right. Uh, being able to hold out for a whole three minute round is, is important. Yeah, because that's hard because I spar with a, uh, a heavy bag. Yeah. And I can go really hard on the bag for 30, 40 seconds. Mm -hmm. And you figure to yourself, you know, like, you know, if a fight round is, what is it, 350? Yeah, 350, yep. Okay, if you can't keep that up for 350, you're probably n probably not ready for. Right. And, and Bruce Lee always would say, boards don't hit back. So uh, exactly, very important thing. So different when somebody else is swinging at you. Right. I mean, <laughs> it can look good while you're going at the bag, you right. know, but how right. good is it going to look when they're attacking you back? Right. right. Exactly. Right. But right. that's also a good way to gauge if someone is ready because mm -hmm. of the, you know, the technique that they're using mm -hmm. when they're using uh, sparring bags and right. equipment and such things like that too. Right. right? Yep. All right. Okay. That's good. So. Um, I guess uh, she's over there looking like she's ready to get on you, man. Uh, so uh, why don't right. we go over here and you show everybody right. a little bit of uh, what you got. All right, let's do it. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Lorna. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. 
All right, so we're going to go over a, a few combinations that we do in class. Uh, first thing is, Lauren will stretch out a little bit. Make sure you got to make sure that your your limbs are all nice and ready to go. Uh, there's a lot of body movement. Can you strap me in for a second here? She can help me out, as she always does. So getting her legs ready, her arms ready. All right. So we're going to start off with first with a jab cross combo. So Lona's going to place her foot right in front. It's a lot of hip movements. Punches come from the hips, not necessarily the arms. All right. Jab. We're going to do a jab cross. Ready? One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. And then in between, after the, we do a combination of those, we'll do an exercise routine. So now we're going to do burpees. Lona, show me a couple of burpees, please. One. Up. Two. And three. And one more. All right. So we're going to run another drill. We're going to do a running uppercut drill. So we're gonna, she's going to run, her, stay in front of me. She's going to move her feet. She's going to pump on her hands at the same time. She's going to cross her elbows. Ready? Go. And stop. And we'll give me some more burpees. Let's give me some more burpees. She's going to go down. She loves burpees. One. There we go again. Two. One more. Good. Also, in MMA, there's a lot of kicks involved. There are a lot of kicks involved. Uh, one of the, the, my, my favorite kicks is the roundhouse kick. All right. So Lauren's going to do a jab, cross, roundhouse kick. Ready? One, two, three. Again. 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 Good job. So then we would actually work some core work. Some of the, some of the core work she would do would be, let's say, we could do a Russian twist. Lauren, can you do a Russian twist for me, please? She's going to go down, side to side, her abs. Each round will probably last about a minute to 45 seconds, 45 seconds to a minute. Um, in between, we'll do maybe a 30-second warm, uh, warm out like this. She'll get up, get her water. She doesn't have any water, so that's, that's how it goes. All right. So another part of that would be we're doing also defense, all right? So we're going to do what's called jab, cross, and slip. She's going to jab, cross, and slip. All right, slip, slip. We're going to do two slips. Ready? So we'll go here, here. Ready? Here we go. Hands up. One, two, slip, slip. Again. One, two, slip, slip. One, two, slip, slip. One, two, slip, slip. Good job. All right. So then we work in maybe some lunges. Lauren, can you give me a couple of lunges, please? Lunge out. Keep her back straight. Work on her quads. Good job. All right. And stop. So then we'll also work maybe some of the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or take down wrestling techniques. So what she's going to do is, we're not going to take me down this time, right, Lorna? She's not going to take me down. But what she's going to do is, she's going to work the drill. So what she would do is, she's going to go out, catch, switch, catch. All right. So she's going for my leg. Ready? She's so going to jab cross, and then she's going to what's called shooting. Ready? Shoot. One, two, shoot. Ready? Up. One, two, shoot. Up. One, two, shoot. Good. One, two, shoot. And as you notice, the technique wise, she keep her head to the outside, and what she would do normally would be taking me down and was doing what's called ground and pound. You don't ever want to be on the ground for ground and pound. All right? So I'm going to let Lorna work a couple combos. I'm going to hold the bag up. She's going to work her hands out. All right, so jab, cross, hook, hook, uppercuts, all right, knees, roundhouses. Ready? Go. Oh, there's no one there. All right, there you go. One, two, up, up. Go back, up, back, back up. I move around. There's a lot of movement. Ready? Go. 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 Good. So you can go up, slip out, slip out, jab, cross. Come on. One, two. Uh, uh, uh. Good job. And she's going to give me 10 push ups. And she'll be up. And that be normally would be our normal, our normal workout with some water involved and more equipment involved. All right. Thank you, Lorna. Good job. All right. All right. That was awesome. You know what? <laughs> You look really focused. I'm going to avoid her on the way out. <laughs> Marla, that was great. Awesome. Uh, once again, uh, the name of the gym? Zero to 100 Fitness. And the location? Uh, we're on 706 North 26th Street. And let them have some uh, hours. Uh, we're open from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. All right, that was great. Thank you guys for coming. That was an awesome demonstration. I loved it that. I will see you later. All right. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. I'm Oren Kelly, and you have been watching fun around town. Thank you very much.